everyone, this is Sierra and today I'll be talking about this uh, little package that I got in the mail. Um, as you might have seen in my latest video, I purchased, well not really purchased, I received a Pukifi Anti for my birthday. Um, and I already bought her some clothes, but she still lacked a wig, so I ordered a wig from, um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, it's the Ken Ken Chi series. Um, I'll post uh, the link of their website in the description box. I ordered a wig from them for Auntie and this is the package it came in. Um, to be honest, I had some issues with this uh, order, but um, neither parties are to blame, really. Um, I mailed them, I asked some questions, I placed an order on their website. Um, everything went smoothly, no problems at all. But after more than a month um, of waiting, I thought I'd better contact them to see um, what was causing the delay. Um, after mailing them, they said the package got returned to them and I, that I had to pay uh, shipping costs to have it sent um, back to me once more. So, uh, needless to say, I wasn't very happy. <laughs> so, I asked them why it was returned and apparently they said I never went to pick it up at the post office but to be honest I never got a slip or anything saying it arrived in Belgium let alone that I could go and pick it up so I um, asked for some pictures of the package and uh, that's how I noticed she had written down the wrong address so yeah I mailed her back saying the blame was actually on their part and she was nice enough to admit it and resend the package at no extra cost so I'm really really happy with their customer service um, I'm really going to recommend um, their company or their website to other BJD owners that are looking for a nice week because really, if anything goes wrong, they stayed polite, they were nice to me. I have absolutely no reason to complain, except that the package took a little longer than expected. But that was all due to a little mix-up, really. So, it arrived in this uh, envelope with uh, padding inside, as usual. Uh, and it was packaged inside pretty good as well. You see a plastic bag. Yeah, the wig is not here because I already put it on my ante. I'll show you in a minute. So I also ordered, I forgot to tell you, I also ordered a wig cap for my ante because, well, I don't like their wigs slipping off all the time and I prefer a wig cap uh, over a do-it-yourself solution such as tape or anything like that. So I ordered an extra small wig cap for my girl, which is pretty decent quality. And this is where the wig was kept in. Comes with a little hairnet and filling for where the head goes. Uh, yeah, the color was white and this is probably the number of the wig. All in all, it was packaged really well. There was, uh, well, there was a little broken fibers on the wig, but honestly, nothing they could have done something about. So I'm not complaining. I'm pretty happy with the wig. Um, yeah, so I'll show you what it looks like on my auntie. Just give me a second and I'll go and grab her. So here she is. This is my Pukifi Auntie. Um, yeah, as you can see, she's wearing uh, the clothing I bought for her from uh, Etsy. You can see 
the whole haul in my other video. It's really cute, I'll show you. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> learning to work with her, so bear with me here. Um, some hair stuck in her joints. Uh, okay. Like this. So, there's such bad lighting here. This is our cute face. And let's see the pretty dress. I really love the details. So, and our petticoat underneath and I'm not going to lift this up because I don't have uh, undies for my little girl yet so no peeking and her cute little boots I should be ashamed I don't have any proper shoes for her yet uh, but these do perfectly fine and I think they're very very cute so I'm still getting used to posing her um, for some reason yeah I'm not very good with tiny dolls <laughs> but yeah she's really really cute in this wig as you can see it's really long on her but that's fine really I can pull the hair all I want and due to the wig cap it stays put as you can see. Um, it is a pure white wig but a lot of the times it looks blonde due to the light. Uh, the fibers are really nice. It's really soft. Um, when I play with her I often find myself petting it can see um, yeah all in all it's one of the best wigs I've ordered so far and I'm really happy about the seller so um, I think I'll be purchasing more wigs in the future maybe not for uh, my little auntie here but for one of my other dolls probably. Um, <clears throat> I also need to learn how to style wigs because well wigs aren't my favorite part in the hobby. Wigs and eyes are my demise because I keep wanting to switch them and try something else just in case I might find one wig that works better. Um, I still have to learn not to be so perfectionistic um, in the hobby because <clears throat> after all um, no doll is perfect unless it's perfect in the eyes of the owner so I have to learn that my dolls need to be perfect for me and not for someone else so I have to create them how I like them best and not how someone else might like them but yeah this is her and her new beautiful wig and so uh, yeah I'm going to put a link in the description box like I said and then you can all have a look at the website and perhaps you'll find a nice wig for your doll I'm going to end the video here and I hope you enjoyed um, the little wig review, although I'm not a professional by all means, so but I personally like this wig. And a little view of my little auntie who I'll be talking about more later, but for now um, she doesn't have a name yet. And our backstory is in progress, so I'll be sure to post a video once I can give you more information. And hopefully I can find a place with some better lighting because she looks so washed out here. Well, she's a beautiful 
pink little cutie pie in real life. But alright, I'll see you guys later and I hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me a message or leave a comment. Okay, bye!